the moment. Another good lap there from Frank Idy, a 1 minute 15.001. There is the race leader. His lead up to nearly six seconds over teammate Paul Tracy. Brilliant performance so far in the early laps. Yeah, but I look out of the out door. There we are. There is a pile up there. It's, in, it's kind of in front of us at the last corner, turn 10. The track is absolutely blocked. There is no way for, through for these guys. And there we are. Oh, dear. It's we all going to gonna we need happen. to get these cars. The red flag is out. The red flag has to be out. And we still may get more cars joining into this before it's over. Sospiri is trying to pick a way through on one side there. There's really no point. The red flag comes out and the race has had to be stopped as a result of this accident coming around out of the last corner onto the start finish straight the teams would have been onto their radios telling the drivers slow down don't worry don't try go around that last corner and they hope their radio works so that they can pass on the information and well hopefully it looks as though everybody else is coming into the pit lane and that's good news now the scoring will go back to the lap before but let's see if we can find out what happened here to set this all off yeah there is uh, Alex Barron there and you can see Michel Jourdain Jr. spinning there looks like he got together with Robbie Gordon it looked like Robbie Gordon hit the back end of Michel Jourdain Jr. you can see Jourdain puts his hands up and as does Mark Blundell frustration there is Scott Pruitt here comes Alex Barron and JJ Leto and there is Michel Jourdain Jr. clipped from behind by Robbie Gordon yeah it uh, looks as though Gordon was having a, an attempt to go past here we are there's the re oh, he was locked up and just bounced into the side of Jordan and I have to say he wasn't there it was an optimistic maneuver he was over committed Jordan turned into the corner and contact was made and uh, so that really basically left a traffic jam for everybody else to try and circumnavigate no chance look at the damage to the nose cone red flag and they'll all have to start again from the pit lane in the order they were in one lap before the red came out Welcome back to Eurosports coverage, live from the Texaco Grand Prix of Houston. The scene down in the pit lane with the red flag having been brought out on this race. Dario Franchitti was leading when it came out. In fact, he'd built up a six-second advantage over teammate Paul Tracy. Alex Zanardi third, Jimmy Vassa fourth, Bobby Rahal in fifth. Now, here's a replay. Robbie Gordon tried to get down the inside, was all locked up into the side of Michel Jourdain's car. The two of them collecting each other and then spinning right in front of Mark Blundell, who had a good view of it all. And he was just remonstrating as he came past just a moment ago. He was still remonstrating with Robbie Gordon. Yeah, he was not very impressed at all. And in fact, as they were both pushed started those two several incidents after, uh, several minutes after this incident took place, uh, Robbie Gordon almost hit Mark Blundell as he was just driving off down the pit straight. So Mark was making his feelings uh, perfectly clear, I think, in that instance. Well, cars are in the pit lane, red flags come out. We were told earlier on that, uh, in fact, teams are allowed to work on the cars it, under red flag conditions so they can refuel, they can do whatever they like at this point. That's right, and the Peyton Coin team will be able to change that nose cone on Michel Jourdain in Junior's uh, Reynard. Really Let's go down to Kim Green. For the wet. So in even the if it team dried, you guys were pretty confident. Now you have a red flag, Kim Green. What do you change on the car? <laughs> well, obviously, once the uh, card allows us to work on the car, we'll fuel it. Uh, Dario's comments uh, during the first few laps when there were some yellows that it was like driving on an ice rink. Uh, all the white lines on the racetrack and all the manhole covers make it very, very slippery. Uh, he, was, he was running well and pulling away uh, from Paul, who was also in turn pulling away from Zanardi. So both drivers are pretty comfortable. Uh, you know, the big call for us will be when do we switch to dry tyres, if and when the racetrack dries out, providing it doesn't rain some more. Any chance you could put them on now and take a chance? No, I think that would be a big risk. The track is still very slippery. I mean, obviously, it also depends how long this red flag is, uh, it stops the race for. You know, we're in a, in a very hot climate here right now, 90 plus degrees. Things will dry out very quickly. But uh, at this point, I, I'd say we'll be staying on wets at least for the next five to 10 minutes. Thank you, Kim. Let's get to Gary. Well, I'm not surprised there. It, as you said, Jeremy, just looking at the lap times over the last few laps, you were saying that uh, it didn't appear as though any change was, was happening to the track. No, not really. Last lap around, Dario Franchitti said a 1 minute 15, and on the first lap of, of green flag racing, he did a 1.59. So uh, really not much improvement there at all. And we talked about the newness of this track surface, and because of the humidity here, it tends to draw up the moisture and the oil in that asphalt mixture up to the surface in these sort of conditions, and that makes it oh so treacherous. Bit of a spray of uh, WD-40 all over the front suspension of uh, Alex Zanardi's car. 
and a bit of wiping of mirrors on Jimmy Vassers. Now, of course, they can change setup. They may decide at this point, seeing how slippery it is, to change the setup on these Ganassi cars. But, uh, well, they'll just have to work that one out. And depending on whether they think the track is going to dry up later on in this race. And as Zanardi was saying in an interview he did uh, over the course of this weekend, one thing he's learnt from Jimmy Vassar is to be more patient, perhaps, in the early part of the race. I think he's going to be fairly happy to be sitting there in third position when this race restarts in a little while. 13 laps have been completed. We're waiting for this red flag period to be finished. Stay with us.